Go to Silvermine Lake, I thought. There was nobody here the last time, I thought. This place is f packed right now. I'm afraid to even get out of the car because a plenty of people aren't even wearing masks. I don't know about this one, but uh, I've got a mask and hopefully I can just get in the water and, and be done with it. I'll see you outside. Okay, talk about anxiety inducing. How many people around here are not wearing masks? Uh, I mean, I guess I stayed six feet away from everybody, but over there by the boat launch, man. You know, it's a picnic table right there. Whole family without masks. And uh, they weren't the only ones. I think some people just think, you know, outdoors, not necessary but uh yeah i mean honestly i almost didn't get out of the car but i came all the way here so so if you remember from last time i gotta paddle through a lot of this first before uh before i can deploy the pedal drive I am going to go to the far side of the lake and I am not leaving until I'm the last one here because that sucked. Okay, so it's a little calmer down here on the far end than it is in the middle of the lake, but it's a windy day and I noticed this, which is a problem I had last year that I solved with a rubber mallet. You saw me hitting it with my anchor, that seemed to work temporarily. But being this far away with that kind of a problem isn't ideal. Um, but, you know, we always have the paddle just can't uh, lose that somehow. All right, so we are gonna try drop shotting until we get snagged and then we'll try something else. But uh, I have this assortment of old, crusty, soft plastics. I saved it for some reason. Um, maybe because some of this stuff looks kind of good. So let's try it. I think I actually know what this is. It used to be green. It took on some of the dye in here. It's like a yum. Uh, I guess kind of like a drop shot style worm. I don't know if it's supposed to be for that application. So look, this these hooks are very small. I think they're like size one or size two. So that's another concern if we're dealing with bigger fish. But uh, they say to go small, so for drop shotting. Oh, okay, you don't have to look at my crotch. Oh, it is. This rod's very sensitive, which is good for drop shotting, but uh, um, there's some lily pads over there. I don't know if you can catch them, but I think I might aim towards those if this uh, log doesn't work. Oh, but we got a fish. I think. Yep. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Come on, don't, 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 don't. Yeah! First, was that first cast, second cast? Second cast, second cast. This bruiser right here, hooked well too. All right, well, that might be my bass of 2017, or <laughs> 17, 2020 so far. Ah. We'll wait. Why not? Yeah, I'm gonna need the pliers with this guy anyway. Okay. Let's get a weight. Okay. It's 
yep it's a two pounder more than two pounds 2.25 minus the gripper okay well maybe it was worth coming out okay buddy got a release yep he bit me that's how you know he was ready okay well that answered some questions oh gotta take a little breather there it was intense so yeah uh first fish on my new drop shot setup don't have the right line on it yet either okay well i just spent the last 10 15 minutes taking out a monster tangle that happened while i was unhooking that fish um, now unfortunately now i have to tie my drops shot straight to braid um, it might not be the worst thing in the world because it looked like my alberto knot was getting a little frayed um, but uh you know if the fish are line shy then oh I guess the theme today might be reusing old lures. I did bring the ice rod again, just in case you want to do that. Okay, something just kerplunked over here. Let's see, Let's see what that's all about. Problem is, there's some big rocks underneath us and uh oh that was yeah something had it okay well see there's there's too many big rocks underneath me so i gotta oh gosh here comes a big one too please no please no please no I gotta like lean all right so we'll just swirl it around Take another, take another stab at it. And not get hung up in the tree. You know, I have to say that so that so that I actually do get hung up in the tree. There's a fish. Ah, he got off. Well, at least we know they're not afraid of the braid. Unafraid of the braid. That was smaller than the last one, but it was a nice, you know, one and a half pounder, I think. But we know now, you know, if there's one in a situation like this, it's like a rocky um, bottom underneath some bushes. You know, we have this whole, this whole line of this stuff. So that's another idea. Look how shallow this is, where he was hanging out. You know what? Might as well pee while I'm here. Alright, so my, since my bass approach has changed to uh, just maybe trying a lot of these bushes hanging over, um, I switched to a smart bait. I don't know, it's like a five inch long stick bait. I feel like it might rain over here. Okay, just another situation, kind of just like what we saw before. Super shallow. Ooh, that was right against the shore. I think that was a bite. Still don't think it was as, it, it wasn't that big, but it's annoying. I keep losing these fish. At the Baltimore Oriole. Okay. 
Wonderful. Well, maybe he's good luck. Let's hope so. Oh, I can see the parking lot from here. It still looks uh, pretty full, actually. But uh, it's thinned out a little bit. Unbelievable. So I'm, I'm probably not going to be coming back to Harriman for a while. I uh, just... The one thing if everybody was wearing masks, but uh, there are whole groups just not. All right, just to prove uh, I am also jigging like I was yesterday, or in the last episode, I mean, it was yesterday. Uh, here I am. Uh, my Garmin was showing schools of fish, but my Garmin is like turning on and off like sporadically. Uh, more off than on at this point. Uh, it's getting kind of cold. I'm wearing short sleeves. My shoes are wet. I didn't wear my waterproof socks. It's windy. Um, I think the parking lot's clearing out, but it's not as late as I had hoped to leave. It's like 7. Um, but I guess I can... I can manage if I have to. Cowboy photographer at the water's edge. That's what I call this shot. Should I do it? Should I just gun it? Should I just gun it and go right over the falls? Wow, it's kind of scary looking, but I'm good. Okay, drop shotting near the dam. I'm gonna go that way though. Oh! Hey, haven't caught one of these in a long time. Got a little, uh, actually, decent sized rock bass. Hey, see, I told you. Sorry, see, I told you we'd get a different species. I didn't really say it, but. All right, well, all the way out here with all the anxiety for two fish. Beautiful little rock bass. I've heard people eat them, but um, they are awfully bony. Pretty sure that's a rock bass. Well, let's let him go. All right, die-hard big red angler fans, when was the last time you saw me catch a rock bass on film? I believe that would be summer of 2018 in the Adirondacks. If not, it was summer of 2017 in the Adirondacks. I don't know if you guys can hear the coyotes, but there's coyotes. That's a thing. My pedal broke off just in time because it's about time to bring the pedal drive up and use the paddle anyway. Ooh, and look what stayed down in the well, unlike my wedding ring that one time. Well, great. Okay, good. That'll still work. That deep in my pocket. There's the beavers. It's so funny, those, some people just told me I would see the beavers. Watch, he's gonna smack his tail. I don't know if I wanna get that close to a beaver. Look at that, very protective, isn't he? Catching beavers. Taking names. Yeah, that's right. Give me that beaver access. Doesn't sound right though. Damn it. Well, folks, I don't know if that two pound bass was uh, worth uh, the anxiety the unexpected anxiety of a crowded silver mine lake in Harriman State Park. But, um, but 
and I'm freezing, and now it's just unpleasant all around, but I'm still waiting for more people to leave the parking lot. Uh, but, you know, I press on. And I know I want to apologize to everybody who, uh, you know, comes here for things other than bass fishing. I really do uh, intend to uh, start, start uh, targeting other fish. Um, but, you know, I guess bass is where I feel the most comfortable. And uh, even then I only catch one fish. So what, what, what can I say? But uh, yeah, maybe sometime I'll come out. I won't even bring bass stuff. So it's not even, so the temptation isn't even there. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll fish it out. I'll probably keep recording. And if anything cool happens, I'll, uh, my, my line's in the water now, so I'm checking. Uh, if anything cool happens, you know, I'll try to capture it for you. But otherwise, hope you liked this, uh, this, this surprise installment. Surprise in the sense that uh, I wasn't sure if I was really gonna come out today or not, and I decided at the last minute to. I guess it was more of a surprise for me. I'll stop rambling. Guys, please like, subscribe. We'll try to keep things interesting. We'll try to get more action out on the water next time. Fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.